a cell phone costs $199 and is on sale for 18% off. All right, so we have $199 and there's a discount of 18%. Another unknown rate of discount is added. Okay, so we have a second discount here and we don't know what that discount is. Uh, tax is 13%. And we want to calculate the unknown rate here. That's what we want to find. And we know that the total comes to $182.25. All right. And then we'll round it to the cent at the end there. So let's set this up. When I work with these types of questions, I always provide the given in terms of a, a tree. And in this particular tree, what I do is I always start with the regular price. So imagine there was no discounts, there was no taxes, and so the cost would have been $199. And then what I do is I simply apply the discounts and I start this branching tree where I apply the discounts. Now we know our first discount is 18%, so as a decimal it's 0.18. And if that's the discount, then 100% of the price, which is one as a decimal, minus the 18%, that would give me my sale price. Now this is sale price number one because this is the first discount. Now they say that there's a, another discount and although they do mention it's added, you never add discounts together. You apply them one at a time. So since we've applied this first discount, now we're going to apply the second one. So I'm going to branch off, but I do not know what this is. So I'll just simply say this is the rate of discount that I don't know what it is. And on the opposite branch, I will write 100% of the sale price minus the unknown discount here. And that would have given me the new sale price after the second discount. Finally, I have a tax. Now the taxes get applied on the sale price. It's 13%. And taxes, we add on the price. So it's 100% of the price plus 13%. So it's quite a lot of branching here. Now they do tell me that the total comes to... 182.25. So the total is right here. So 182.25. So that's the total. So I'm looking for this particular discount. So I'm going to define it. So let RD be the second discount. And now in order to find my equation for this, I will simply follow the givens, okay? So my given here is right here. So I'm gonna take the branch from the starting point all the way to the end there. So I'm gonna follow this path until I get to the end. Now, once you do that, you can create your equation. So I start from the back. So I know that my total is 182.25. And that equals two. And now I just start multiplying all the different factors that I have here. So that is with the taxes multiplied by one minus RD and then multiplied by one minus 0 0.18. Notice I'm just walking through this path all the way. And then finally times, this is actually 199. All right, so that's my equation. Now, obviously I wanna to try to solve for this unknown here. So I have to kind of a little bit regroup. So what I like to do is, because there's so many brackets here and I have so many different multiplications, I like to group all my numbers actually together. Okay, so my unknown is right here. Okay, so that's my second factor here. But I have all of these other factors all the way around. So for instance, I have this factor, which is the first one. 
and then I have this one which is the third one and then I have this one which is the fourth one so because it's multiplication you can reorder this anywhere or, or any way you like so what I'm going to do is to make it a little bit easier for myself so I'm going to regroup this okay so for instance this right here okay so first of all I know that this is 1.13 because I can do the addition and now instead of writing this as my second factor I will actually move over to the third one okay so 1 minus 0 0.18 and that's going to give me 0 0.82 okay so I just swap these over and then finally I'm going to multiply it by 199 and I will leave that last term or sorry the factor with my unknown now why do I do this so this rearranging because of the fact that I can now just simply take all of these and multiply them because they're just numbers so I can just multiply them through before I start distributing them inside the bracket all right so let me okay so do that so I have one 0.13 times 0 0.82 times 199 and that gives me so that's 184.3934 okay so this now simplifies all of that junk into one number which now indeed I can bring inside the bracket so I can distribute this across okay these two terms so that I don't have a bracket anymore now don't forget you know I didn't lose this 182.25 on the left hand side so let me do the distribution now if I distribute I'm just multiplying by 1 so I can just rewrite this minus and 184.3934 times RD and my left hand side here all right so now it's much simpler I can now solve for RD so I'm going to rearrange this I'm going to bring the variable to the left hand side actually okay so I'm going to shift this entire um, term here so this one I'm going to shift over and I'll move it to the left and then I'll take the numbers okay and I'll shift them over so that they're on the same side so that will lead to 184.3934 Okay, times the rate equals to 184.3934 minus 182.25. So let me do the subtraction here. So I'm going to do that. So I have that actually stored there already. So minus 182.25 equals, and that's going to be 2.1434 okay and now on the left hand side so there's nothing to do as of yet so this is what I have and now I will divide okay so both sides because I don't want to have this 184.3934 so I'm going to divide both sides and that will give me my answer so I do that that's gone and now RD equals and let's see what that actually will be so we're going to divide by 184.3934 and that comes to so it's a very tiny amount so 0 1 1 6 2 and so on so let's see if they wanted to round here uh, so they said cent so you actually cannot round this to the cent because it's a rate okay so this turns out to be our answer and now if you because it is a um, a rate we can change this back into percent if we want it to so by moving the decimal over two places so that would be one point okay and then let's leave it at that let's round it 
to two decimal places. They said cents, so we'll, I'll just keep two decimal places for that, but it's not uh, money. So it's around 1% for the second discount. And that's it. All right, so I hope that you found this useful. Okay, thanks for watching.